missing ingredients in the body of Christ and among Christians is that we are very low when it comes to gratitude. We don't know how to appreciate and thank God. Life is not a right, it's a privilege. To be alive is a privilege. To be breathing is a privilege. You will lift your hands and you will thank God for life. Thank God for life. You may not be where you want to be, but you are not where you used to be. Thank him from your heart. If you have ever appreciated God before, up until this year, many started January, but they didn't see February. And God has kept you. Go ahead and thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Go ahead and thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. I can't hear you this morning in, in Accra. Thank God. Thank him for life. Kabaradasa, Tento Kabrash. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him. Thank him for life. Bless his name. Thank him. God, we thank you for life. Thank you, Lord, for finding us worthy to be among the living. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lift your hands, everybody. Dana say. Dana se Dano ya mi na se Dana se Dana se Dano ya mi na se Every
I've been coming to Ghana for for almost ten years. So for almost ten years, I've been coming to Ghana. So if I don't know Ghana songs, then something is wrong with me. Oh yeah, me coco coco belly. Oh yeah, me cra 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 belly. Oh yeah, me coco. everybody and take your seat don't worry all our, our music this season will be purely Ghanaian all our songs will be so let's just flow you know that was that's when the lady was singing and she started that song I just said Jesus is awesome because when I was coming here God told me he said spend most of your time in a crowd worship me in Ghana language that's what God told me I know, I know a few of you are not Ghanaian. God bless you and God forgive you. So you are just going to be chewing your mouth and tongue when we are doing what you are doing. Or if you don't understand, if you don't understand Tui or understand any of the Ghana dialect, just speak in tongues while you are worshiping God. <laughs> Hallelujah! Ghanaians love to walk. I know many of you, many of them are waiting for evening to come. But thank God for you that is here. The difference will be clear. Alright, do something for me if you have your Bible. Det Deuteronomy chapter 32 will read from verse 10 to verse 13. Deuteronomy, or you said dethrone your enemy. Deuteronomy or dethrone your enemy. Deuteronomy chapter 32 from verse 10 to verse 13. He found him in a desert land. And in the west, howling in the wilderness, he led him about, he instructed him, he kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirred up a nest, fluttered over a young, spread it abroad a wings, taketh them, beareth them on a wings. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. Verse 13, he made him ride on the high places of the earth, and that he might eat the increase of the field, and he made him to suck honey out of the rock, and oil, oil out of the flinty rock, oil out of the flinty rock. Just for the next few minutes so I can release you to leave the sun, I want to break a seal. I want to break an episode. I want to talk to you briefly. I want to give a declaration that will start manifesting in the next matter of minutes in your life. I want to talk on from hardness to sweetness. From hardness to sweetness. And there is somebody under the sound of my voice that God will want me to make declaration because we came to Accra for such a time as this. Because God has seen the life of someone. Things have been so hard. Things have been so difficult. Things have be so painful, you don't know where the next meal will come from. Situation has beaten you hands down, circumstances tend to tell you surrender. Life has become a palace of disease. All your effort ends up in futility. God has sent me to tell you that you are moving from hardness to sweetness. 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 Let me say this to you, sir. Anything hard has something to offer. Every trouble carries double. Inside a pain, there is a gain. Anytime you see battle, there is a mantle. Don't see your problems and discard them. Your problems are raw materials for your enthronement. Your problems are raw materials for your enthronement. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. He keepeth his bones. So anytime you see a battle, behind the battle there is a mantle. Hear me, child of God. Only greatness attracts trouble. Only great men attract battle. When you see a battle in your life, it's because there is a greatness tied to you. There is something outstanding. The Bible says he drew honey from the rock. So every rock carries sweetness. Every hardness carries promotion. Every tightness carries lifting. I speak to somebody here. As you hear the sound of my voice, with this mouth I used to pray, every hardness in your life is turned to sweetness. Every hardness in your life is turned to sweetness. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Don't conclude on life. Every 
every condition is a transition. Oh, yeah. No condition is a conclusion. Every condition is a transition. The lion's den is not a full stop. It's a bus stop. The lion's den is not a full stop. It is a bus stop. After the lion's den, there is a lifting. Rejoice not over me, O oh my enemy. For if I fall, I will rise again. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be my light. I hear people say, how come, how come bad things happen to good people? I'm sorry. Bad things don't happen to good people. It is good people that happen to bad things. I say bad things don't happen to good people. It is good people that happen to bad things. Because no matter how bad it is, good people will survive it. No matter how terrible it is, good people will survive it. He knoweth the way, Job chapter 23, Job 23 verse 10. He knoweth the way that I take. For when he has tried me, I shall come forth as God. He was talking about Moses. He was talking about the life of Moses. The place we just read was talking about the life and time of a man called Moses and the Bible says God gave him honey out of the rock sir when you study your Bible literally speaking there was nowhere Moses drew honey from the rock literally speaking the only time he spoke to the rock was when water came out it was actually an offense in the sense there was no so God was trying to describe all Moses went through how God ordained him from a nobody to somebody in fact the life of Moses, at the inception of Moses, where Moses was born, children were killed. Where Moses was born, boys were wasted. Where Moses were born, every son was killed. Every man child was killed. He was born at a time when there was a decree against male children. Am I speaking to somebody here? That was when Moses was born. But God began to describe his life. He said, this man, he got to a point where he drew honey from the rock. Listen to me. So it didn't, but it didn't matter how it started. It matter how it ended. A reward is not at the start, but at the finishing. I don't know how your life has started, but I am very aware of how you will finish. You will finish well. You will finish strong. You will finish honorable. If you are the one I'm talking to, let me hear your loud amen. Take your seat. 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 He said concerning. So how did Moses get to that point in life? Listen to me, child of God. When you go through a problem, let me say this to you. When you go through a problem, a battle, God wants to use that battle to show you many things that you don't know. When the asses of Saul's father was missing, as far as Saul was concerned, he went about looking for a missing ass. But he didn't know he was looking for a missing throne. He thought it was the asses that were missing. Not knowing that it was a throne that was missing. It was royalty that was missing. It was dignity that was missing. Am I talking to somebody here? Until God Almighty helped him to find a missing throne. He went from Shalisha to Shalim. He went from Shalim, four location. He was looking for the missing asses. He couldn't find it until he found a prophet. So what you are looking for is not in the location, it's in an unction. What you are looking for is not in a place, it's in a man. Somebody carries your destiny. Somebody carries your pregnancy. I made declarations. You will find that man. You will find that man. Kapatoka piratasha. Rapakatokata. Everyone that God wants to use to announce you. Everyone God has ordained to advertise you. Everyone God has ordained to blow you up. Everyone God has ordained to decorate you. Whether they're in America. Whether they're in Europe. Whether they're in Germany. Whether they're in Asia. Whether they're in the Bahamas. Whether they're in Africa. Whether they're in the Middle East. I make a declaration. Wherever they are, I connect you to them. 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 You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says 
say yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Favor is on your side. Somebody shout fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you need the information on how to move from a life of hardness to a life of sweetness. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15, the labor of the foolish, where yet every one of them, because he knoweth not how to go into the city. Sir, every city can be taken, just know how. Every greatness can be achieved, just know how. Every landmark can be attained, just know how. He knoweth not how. How did Moses move? from hardness to sweetness that he began to suck honey out of the rock I don't know about 10 years ago I don't know about 9 years ago I don't know about 8 years ago I don't know about 7 years ago I don't know about 6 years ago I don't know about 5 years ago I don't know about 4 years ago I don't know about 3 years ago I don't know about 2 years ago I don't know about last year what I know is this year for everyone under the sound of my voice from this month of February down to of December, your doors are open. Ah, he paraka pataka. How did he move from a life of hardness to sweetness? Number one, the Bible said he found him. Somebody said he found him. Sir, if you must move from hardness to sweet, God must find you. He found him. And you say, Apostle, what do you mean God was, must find me? I thought God is omnipotent. He's all-powerful. I thought God is omniscient. He's all-knowing. I thought God is omnipresent. He's all-present. How does God need to find me? Listen to me. When God was speaking concerning Adam, he said, Adam, Adam, where are thou? It's not because God was not seeing Adam. It's not because God could not find Adam. But the problem was Adam was not in the location where God kept him. Him. Adam was not in the place where God kept him. He says in Psalm 89 and verse 20, I have found David my servant and with my only oil have I anointed him. There are some of you under the sound of my voice. You have been displaced. You have been relocated. You have been taken from the place of favor. The enemy has put you in the wrong location. Satan is contending your life. A wind is blowing you. A contrary wind is blowing you. I make declaration as you hear the sound of my voice. You shall be divine finally located he found him he found him he found him there are people who are not blessed because they are wrongly located they are wrongly located listen to me sir one thing that dislocates people i'm going to tell you that because i want to be fast one thing that dislocates that wrongly locates people is bad company bad company there are people that have left their place of help and greatness can't assess them because they are with the wrong people Proverbs 13 verse 20 the Bible says that walketh with the wise shall be wise but a company of fools shall be distressed Sir, there are people God see in your life and by reason of their being in your life you attract favor you attract help in Genesis 26 24 the Bible says to God spoke to Isaac he said I will bless you Isaac because of Abraham your father's sake Genesis 39 verse 5 and God prospered Egyptian because of Joseph's sake one time there was drought in the land and they were looking for a prophet to speak and they said is there no prophet that can speak to us and someone said there is a man called Elisha 2 Kings 3 11 he's the one that poured water on the hand of Elijah and when they, they came Elisha looked at the man and said I am not coming out because of you if not for Jehu Shepherd, you would not have seen my face so there are people whose face God sees and God shows his own face he said if not for Jehu Shaphat he found him there are people do you know concerning Lot the Bible says let me tell you how Lot got to Sodom the Bible says Lot pitched his tent by Sodom 
The next chapter, Lot was in Sodom. To be around the wrong company is to end up with them. Blessed is the man, Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth on the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of Yabaka. Show that the law of the Lord, and on it does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the riverside that brings forth his fruit in the season. He says, Leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth. There are people that carry an atmosphere. When you come around them, they contaminate you positively with that atmosphere. Joseph was a dreamer. As soon as Joseph entered the prison, the chief butler and the baker became dreamers. They were not dreamer before Joseph entered. As he entered the prison and occupied the same space with them, both of them that never dreamed before began to dream. That anointing moved from them. As the chief butler entered into Pharaoh's palace, Pharaoh that never dreamed before, Pharaoh too began to dream. Ay, ay, ay. There, 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 there are people that carry an atmosphere. They carry a grace. Listen to me. Every good company that will lead to your rising, Every good contact that will lead to your elevation. Every good connection that will lead to your maximization. Today, I connect you by fire. I connect you by fire. I connect you by fire. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. A woman called Dorcas was dead. She was about to be buried, but she had the right company around her. They said, Dorcas, you go nowhere. You can't die now. And they brought a man called Apostle Peter. And they began to reminisce and tell Peter all the life of Dorcas. What she did while she was alive was what triggered the anointing for resurrection. If in your first life you did nothing useful, why come back? One of the easiest way I've seen about 16, I've seen 16, 16, 16 dead people come back to life. Now, among those 16, there are three I prayed my, my intestine we almost cut it. There are some others you just speak the word and they jet back. There are about three among those cases. I prayed that almost, if I one of them, I almost give up. I almost say go and bury. I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. No shaking, remain cold. For one day I was doing an assessment of those that were very easy. You just pray for them and eject. I decided to do a personal as I was just looking at my life and studying the supernatural move of God. I discovered those that are easy are those who had good will while they were living. I noticed it. Those who made impact, they were committed to God and they were committed to the body and they were people that were making, so it was easy. Because the anointing for resurrection works faster when you make impact. Once you have no record, resurrection unction doesn't work. No record. Because there's a debate between the spirit of death and the spirit of life. Why must he go? Why must he stay? He needs to stay because there are widows he's taking care of. He needs to stay because there are orphans. He needs to stay he's committed in the church. He needs to stay he's committed to missions. He needs to stay because he's meant. Oh, go. But when there's no record, there's no voice to speak for you. He found him. He found him. Now I want to pray a prayer for you. No, I want to pray this prayer with all humility, even if it is tense. I don't know how connected you are to any wrong person. I don't know your connection to the, to the wrong people. Anyone who is not ordained by God to be on your destiny journey, today I ask for a permanent disconnection. Anyone not ordained by God to be in this your path of greatness, to be in your assignment, to be your destiny journey. I ask for this connection now. This connection now. This connection now. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. He found him. 
from hardness to sweet. The Bible says, number two, he led him. God must find you. Number two, God must lead you. There are people who don't understand the leading of God. Romans 8, 14, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you to be led by God, you must understand intimacy. Proximity. Intimacy is into me, see. Enter into me and see. Intimacy is connectivity. Intimacy is what wires capacity, audacity, sagacity, intensity, ferocity. Intimacy. It takes that closeness to the Holy Ghost. Where you, your Holy Ghost, you are mingled with the Holy Ghost. Romans chapter 8 verse 9 If any man has not the spirit of God is not of God What makes you What trademarks you What trademarks you You know trademark You know what a trademark is Trademark is what gives you soul ownership Okay Soul ownership What trademarks you as a believer Is not the cross you wear The big cross on your neck Thank God for the cross. It's nice, but Jesus has left the cross. It's not there anymore. He's on the throne. In fact, the cross, the cross is a sign of pain. Because that's where sin, the sin was. He left it on the cross. Okay, so I'm not against you wearing the cross. It's okay, it's fine. It's just fashion. It doesn't mean anything. It's just fashion. But I need to let you know, our trademark as believer is the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost comes on a problem, the whole it goes. When <laughs> when the Holy Ghost comes on a problem, the whole it goes. He said this. Jesus was talking to his disciples. He said, "I am a rabbi." I'm a teacher to teachers. I have taught you for three and a half years. I taught you two parables. I taught you two riddles. You sat at my feet. I took you to the mountain where I gave you the beatitudes for two chapters. I have taught you a lot. You have heard all kinds of messages. He said, but please, I want to advise you. Tarry ye in Jerusalem until you be endued with power in other words no matter what you have learned no matter what you have studied no matter what you know if you lack power you are an orator if you lack power you end up a narrator if you lack power you are not seeing theory you are not seeing the theoretical part of God it takes the Holy Ghost to enjoy that power because Acts chapter 1 verse 8 you shall receive after the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Listen to me, I came here to draw you close to the Holy Ghost. I came here for you to open up and be led by God. You will no more make mistakes in life. You will no more be a casualty of life. God will lead you. In First Samuel chapter 3 verse 9 Samuel says, speak for thy servants hear it. I don't want to do what I want to do. Oh God, if my plan is not in line with your plan, mess it up. If my decision is not in line with your decision, mess it up. If my project is not in line with your project, mess it up. Let it be your will. Not my will, but thy will be done. He led him. Moses woke up one day and he saw an Egyptian fighting an Israeli. And he was looking at both of them. That was a decision time. The Egyptian speaks of where Moses is coming from. The Israeli speaks of where Moses is going to. What do you do when you see your past contending your future? What do you say do when you see your today contending your tomorrow? Moses did not just separate them. He killed the Egyptian. Bury your past. Bury your past. Bury where you are coming from. Bury your errors. Bury your mistake. Your past is your history. Your present might be a mystery. But your future is your destiny. Your future is your destiny. Your future... 
Number one, he found him. Number two, he led him. Hands, lift your hands. Say, in the name of Jesus, I can't hear you at all. I can't hear you at all. I open up myself. I open up myself to be led by God. I shall be led by God. Are there decisions? Are there decisions I have taken outside God? Oh Lord, mess it up. Mess it up. Are there decisions you want me to take? I can't hear you. Are there decisions you want me to take? I open up myself. I open up myself to take those decisions. I will be led by God. I will be led by God. Somebody shout fire, fire, fire. He found him. He led him. And he said he made him. If God can find you. If God can lead you. God will make you. <laughs> he met Moses. He met Moses. He found him. He led him. Moses said in Exodus 33 18, say, Lord, show me your glory. I want to see your face. And God said, No man sees my face and lives. Yet Moses said, Show me your face. How can God tell you, No man sees my face and live? And you are asking God, I want to see your face. God said, Any man that sees my face dies. Moses said, yeah, But show me that face. Show me the face. Any man that sees my face dies. But God says, show me your face. Moses says, show me your face. Was it that Moses wanted to die? No. When you see his face, the man in you dies. The self in you dies. The personality in you dies. God said to Moses, there is a side by me. I will show you. And people think that Moses saw God face to face. Moses never. Some said Moses saw the back of God. Sir, the back of a man is a part of that man. If Moses saw the back of God, then Moses can describe the frame of God. Moses never saw the entity of God. God said to Moses, I will show you my hinder parts. In other words, I will show you where I am coming from. I will show you the things I did when nobody was there. Who wrote Genesis? Who wrote Genesis? Talk to me. Who wrote Genesis? Was he there? And God said, let us make man. Was Moses there? Abraham, was Moses there? Isaac, was Moses there? Jacob, was Moses there? In fact, it is Moses that wrote and Moses died. Moses was still alive when it wrote and Moses died. So if you can see where God is coming from, then you will know where you are going to. Moses said, show me your glory. The glory of God was so much. When Moses saw the hinder part of God, Moses became a deity. Moses left the realm of the terrestrial, became a celestial. Moses became a God. That is why no man could kill Moses. It was God that killed Moses. Because mortality cannot kill immortality. He only takes immortality to kill immortality. It was God that killed Moses and buried Moses. No, we are, no one could. Satan came and was requesting for the body of Moses. Because they needed to put it in a zoo to study how one man, one entity can carry divinity and humanity in one entity. There are some of you, your prosperity will become a cause of debate. The richest of men are still, are still hiding. Some of you don't understand that what you caught you see online on social media. Forbes, Elon Musk can Warren Buffett not the richest men on there they are the richest men according to Forbes they are not the richest they are according to Forbes the one they know you are talking of wealth, go to Arab those are men of wealth and they don't say anything ah uh, 
I feed people every Saturday by the grace of God in their thousands. And I was excited until I went to a place recently and they showed me a man that has been feeding people three times a day for 15 years. I became home. I just, I felt like the ground should open for me to enter. I felt so broke and poor. Three times a day and it feeds at least 5,000. People just go there, kill. You eat what you want. 15 years. A man was not around. They said he was not in the country. He traveled to the U.S. for vacation. He was going to America. He didn't want to use their cars. So his cars from that Arab nation, he flew his cars, six of his cars. He flew his cars. He flew his dogs. He flew his full family, about 20-something people, with his cook, his gardener, his driver. Flew all his six Bentleys. Flew them. Stayed three weeks. Flew the things back. Just went for vacation. Even his cars went for vacation. Let me, let me tell you something. You, eh? There is a wealth you carry that the world has not seen. Africans are too arrogant and pompous in poverty. You see, people think they are making sense when they are talking down on, on Jesus. All these things they call church. The problem of Africa is religion. Eh? If you have a job and you have a working government and you have a job and you are busy, you will not think of religion. Shut up! Arabs are the richest, yet they pray five times a day. Arabs are the richest. The problem of the world is Christians. They like to talk down on the church. Muslims should never talk down on Islam. But Christians like to talk down on the church. Check those attacking the church. They are Christians. Shamelessly. What do you know? Arabs are the wealthiest five times. How can religion be? Religion is not our problem. A problem in the body of Christ is disunity. Everybody has a gospel. There were 7,000 prophets that didn't bow their knees to bow. Prophets. But when Elijah said for three and a half years, there shall not be dew or rain according to my word. All the other prophets kept quiet. Because they needed to be in line with a prophet. Let a prophet in Accra now say one thing. 15 prophets will come and counter him. There were 7,000 prophets at that time. But they all said a prophet has spoken. In our prophetic culture, prophets don't fight prophets. So even if the, do you know the prophecy Elijah gave affected these prophets? There was hunger. Even in the midst of their hunger, they still maintained the prophetic culture. They said, we'll wait. He said three and a half years. We cannot go against the prophetic culture. The culture said the first, the first rule for accessibility to God is to understand that the Holy Ghost is love. So they kept quiet. They didn't see anything. But can that happen in, in Ghana? That happened in Ghana. You will see a, a man of God called to take the gospel to the world. He has become a content creator. Man of God has become content creator. We sit down with light on his face. The other prophet the other day he was talking from Aflao. I was watching his video the other time from East Legan. Me, yes, even if nobody knows my voice, I am here and I'm talking to you as a major prophet from Volta region. Any prophet that attacks another prophet is not a major, it's a minor prophet. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. Prophetic culture. You need to come to our conference in March. It's part of what I'm teaching. Understanding the prophetic. There is a prophetic culture. There's a language that prophet. And that's how you who a true prophet is. There's a culture you, de you decode. Once you decode that culture, you know, this one is a prophet. Not everybody that, everybody that prophesies is a prophet. You must understand that. Prophecy is a gift. But the prophetic is a calling. So separate prophecy from the prophetic. Prophecy is not the prophetic. Hello? Amen! 
follow him. Matthew 4 19. He says, Follow me, I will make you. Matthew 9 19. Follow Matthew 9 9. Follow me, I will make you. God wants to make somebody here. God wants to make somebody here. He wants to make you great. He wants to make you blessed. He wants to make only God can make you. You can make yourself. Thank God for education. It cannot make you. There are many professors that are broke. Thank God for good grammar. There are people who are painters. Painters. There are people who are furniture. You know furniture makers? Is that what they call them in Ghana? Furniture. They make chairs and the rest. They are furniture makers who they do upholstery. And they are richer than many professors. With all their big grammar. Because professors are admired. Only professionals are paid. Can I, can I repeat that to you? Professors are admired. Only professionals are paid. Nobody pays you for speaking grammar, for sounding like Archimedes, Pluto, and Socrates. They admire you. Nobody pays you for your power of diction or your mastery of public speaking. They admire you. No one, but nobody pays you for your verbal prowess and your, your eloquence, your diction. You are admired, but you are not paid. Professionals are paid. Only God. I love education. I love the academia. But only God makes a man. Am I speaking here? Politicians don't make people. They have self-interest. Am I talking to somebody here? Thank God for politicians. If you think they will make you, you are joking. They will only make you if they can use you. They will only make you if you line up to what they want. Am I speaking to somebody here? Someone said to me, he said, this politician has abandoned me. I said, you are not okay. Politicians don't abandon people. It's when you are no more useful that they leave you. So make yourself always useful in their life. And you'll be relevant for 10 years. You'll be relevant for 15 years. I love politicians, so I love pol politicians. Their life is how life is. Accept it or leave it. Yeah, accept it or leave it. When you are no more useful, you are discarded. So always be relevant so that you'll be valued. Apostle, I don't like that my friend is looking on me because I am down. Is looking down on me. Why are you down? If you don't want them to look down on you, come up. Follow the interest. Follow. Thank God for politics. Have you not seen people that labor for a political party? They struggled with it. They deserve to get a seat. But they are discarded. And the seat is given to somebody who didn't labor. You've not seen that happen? Someone who did not labor because they are threatened at the rising of that man. They feel when the man rises, he's going to come for them. I have a lot of polit polit political sons. We talk. I have a lot of them in governors, presidents in African nations. When we talk, I, I, I pick their brains. I know how they function. No man can make you the man, the man in Acts chapter 3, the man that carried the man at, at the gate of beautiful, they left him at the gate while they entered the temple. Men can only help you to a limit. They cannot help you to be better than them. Only God can make you. God is not a laugher at men. He's a lifter of men. He's not a mocker at a man. He's a maker of men. I don't know who you are this morning or this afternoon, but I'm making declaration that in the next 48 hours, as we gather here every session, God will begin to make you. Heaven will make you. Be upstanding, everybody. Be upstanding. Are you ready to pray? Lift your hands. I'm going to worship the Lord before we pray. Worship the Lord, worship the Lord, worship the Lord.
Yami. Let's sing it two more times as our hands are lifted to God. Jesus, Jesus, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray oh, Lord, oh Lord, I can't hear you, oh Lord, take my life from hardness to sweetness, take my life from hardness to sweetness, take my life from hardness to sweetness, take my life from hardness to sweetness. From hardness to sweetness. Take my life from hardness to sweetness. My life from sweetness. Take my life from hardness to sweetness. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Shata baraka. Echo sa. Yada da da braga da 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 braga da da yata. Asha dekos.
in Jesus' name. I have a living by God. We should pray against wrong connection. Demonic contaminations and pollutions. Who is Peggy? Who is Peggy? Peggy. If your name is Peggy, come here. Peggy. If that's your name, come here. Can you come fast if that's your name? Dancing, dancing, dancing. Stand there. Now we're going to take this prayer. There are pollutants, contaminations that God wants to break us free from. Jonah, leave my boat. Because when Jonah is in your boat, you lose your wares. You lose all you have labored for. By force, by fire. Disconnect me from evil connections. By force, by fire. Lord, disconnect me from evil connections. By force, by fire. Lord, disconnect me from evil connections. By first, that brother with, with glasses on his face and a jacket. The one by that pastor. Come, come. I saw leadership on you. I don't know who you are, but I just saw leadership. I saw leadership. There's royalty on you. There's leadership, leadership. There's a grace coming on you. A grace to control. A grace to control. A grace to control. A grace to lead. A grace for impartation. Remain standing. I'm going to pray for you. Who is ready to take that prayer? Please, Ghanaians, if there's one thing I love about you, I must tell you today. How many of you know I travel every week around the world? But there are several countries, when I go there, I feel at home. Ghana is one of them. And let me tell you why. I love Ghana because they have my kind of energy to pray. I love America, I love London, I love those places, but I don't feel I don't feel uh, when I come to Ghana that I love that that energy to pray. We would take that prayer sir there is no, if anybody tells you that there is any other key outside prayer, they lie to you. Prayer, prayer is potent. Prayer is powerful. Lady, are you, are you the only one here? Are you here alone? Take two steps to me. What is the problem? Who is she? I thought you said you are here alone. You didn't know. Do you know, ma? Do you know a place like Discover? This there's a place like Discover. This Discover. 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 You know a place like that? Huh? This sound. Give us the sound. Your father. That's where he's from. The place I just mentioned. Fix the sound. As I look at you, what the Lord tells me is to tell her that dry bones shall rise again. Yeah. Dry bones. And the prophecy for one is a prophecy for all. Dry bones shall rise again. Ma, you are not, you are, you are not happy yes. because the state you are in now. This is you that you you used to help people a lot. But now finances are swallowed up. Grounded. I saw you in the spirit realm. I saw you in the
before before and you travel to nations you go to China yes, please. you go to Dubai yes, please. to buy things yes, please. but now you look at yourself you're asking what went wrong yes, please. you've loved the Lord you follow the Lord yes, please. growing up it has been you and the Lord in fact you are from a family of a praying woman yes please my mother is a reverend minister Diana Yes, Your mother is called Reverend Diana. Yes, please. And, and you've been laboring. And this thing that's happening now is not just happening to you or your siblings. Yes, please. The same battle. Yes, please. You have somebody in Malaysia. My brother. Is in Malaysia. Yes, please. You have somebody in the UK. Yes, please. His name is Bennett. Yes, please. He's in the UK. You have somebody called Gloria. Yes, please. She's after this. She's after this. Yes. She's after her. You have somebody called Dockers. Yes. There's a last one called Ebenezer. Yes, please. Whoa. Madam, wait. What? What are you doing with three passports? I used to travel. I used to have a, a boutique and I was traveling to buy goods. I'm, I'm seeing you with three passports. Yes. yes. I, I want to... Huh? Yes. I used what? to travel a lot. So, okay. Yes. But among these three passports, there's only one that's functional. Yes. Because there, like are, visas, there are visas in the other one. Yes. But there's a current one that's functional. Yes. That starts yes. with something like six. There's a six four. I think, yes, please. Seven five two. Yes, yeah, I think so. Yes, please. Do you have it with you? Yes, please. Check it. Current one, check the current one. Six two four zero nine seven five two. I saw a man that was in your life. Something happened. Am I, am I embarrassed? Are you embarrassed? No, please. This thing that happened was a manipulation. Because till now you can't understand. Yes, what is Eunice? Please. That lady, I'm looking at you, I'm hearing Eunice. Yes. Yeah, I'm Eunice, I'm Eunice. She's your sister? Yes, please. And you didn't know she was here? No, she went to hospital before she came, so I didn't know she had come. Okay. I came here earlier. Okay, you, you just came. Open your palm. I'm wasting time. Who is who is Equayasi? Equayasi. Equayasi. Dari. 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 Just. There is. What's your name, sir? What's your last name? Dari. Stand this way. I want us to pray. Father, we honor you. Say, I don't know. What I'm hearing, you look big, but what I'm hearing is, wait, wait. I'm seeing 21. I don't understand. Yes, I'm 21 here. If I, you were 21 last month, I want to pray for you. Last month, yes. on the third, I want to pray for you. Open your hands. Hands, hands. <laughs> Pastor Divine, does Accra have a polytechnic? Do you know Accra Polytechnic? Yes. How do you know it? Uh, that's where I you, you are studying something but that's not what you are going to use because somebody is going to help you I saw a man coming to help you I saw you I saw a family this is 
not your family, but it's a family. You go there, you work, you do their chores, yes. and they pay you. Yes. That's how you are surviving. Yes. As I saw you walking there one day, a helper walks in, and the helper looks at you. What is Bala? Bala, Bala, Bala. Bala is my hometown. Bala is your hometown. Yes. Take two steps and come. Madam, I'm coming back to you one minute. Who is Ivy? I'm, ah, I didn't know I was going to waste time this morning like this. Please, forgive me, forgive me. I thought I was going to spend more time this evening. Who is Ivy? Ivy. Makafuye. Makafuye. Now, Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ghanaians, you are here to pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Disconnect me. Disconnect me. From evil connections. From evil connections. As we take this prayer, I want the ushers to watch out. The power of God is going to come upon 62 people. Uh -huh. And as the power of God comes upon them. God is going to start connecting you to the right people. Amen. God will connect you to the right people. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Disconnect me. Disconnect from me. evil connections. From evil connections. Open your mouth and fire yeah. prayer. your hands aha my god my father my god my father there are people here you have ordained you have ordained to connect them to specific helpers to fulfill specific assignments in their lives you have, you have, you have destined and ordained to connect them to the place of their rest as their hands are lifted to heaven say lord what? my hands are lifted my hands are lifted the anointing that makes man the anointing that makes man your anointing that makes man your anointing that makes man fall upon me 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 the anointing that makes man the anointing that makes me fall upon 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 me father wherever that man is that boy girl woman teenager child wherever they are spirit of god as this anointing comes find them lead them and make them 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 spirit of god find them what jesus bring them here i want to pray for them there's a prophetic mantle there's a release of prophetic mantle bring them bring them to me i want to pray for them bring them to me people people are flying all over the place bring them bring them i want to pray for them Ashapatada, Rekepetalo Saga. 
I want to pray for them. Bring them to me. Separaza e Catata. They are. Wherever they are, at the count of two, find that pastor, find that politician, find that businessman, find that student, lead them and make them two. Somebody help, somebody help. Oh, Shaz, help me. Jesus. Right where you are. Right where you are. As your hands are lifted. The anointing to break boundaries. The anointed to tear down satanic orchestrations fall upon you. I want to pray right now. Father, there are people here, you said to me, that 2024 will not be like other years for them. And you spoke to me, you said go to Accra. You said go to Ghana. You said there are specific individuals and families you've ordained for a turnaround. Wherever they are, as their hands are lifted, find them, lead them, make them, find them, lead them, make them, find them. The power of God! Wherever that man is, touch! 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 Listen, listen, listen. Everybody hear me. What God is doing this morning is just a tip of the iceberg. I'm telling you the truth. If you miss tonight, you miss, you miss a million dollars. If you miss tonight. Because what God showed me about this meeting, I came to Accra excited. Because your lifting is my lifting. Your, your elevation is my elevation. And I make declarations under the heavens that today, today, your sweetness, your flavor, your vitality, the emergence of your shining, the emergence of your beauty, the ascendancy, the acceleration that heaven has promised you, May it put on flesh right now. Brother, come, come, brother. Take this. Put it.
it on your head. I hear the Lord say to me, you have not seen anything yet. No, you have not. What you are about to see is going to shock you. A new season. I want to pray with you. A new season. Your time has come. You, you go with it. Now, there's something... This lady with a jeans. Do you know someone like Georgia? Georgia. Come. I want to pray with you. Because of what I saw around you. I do. I do understand. When I see limitation. In the spirit realm, I see myself in Takradi. I see, I see myself in Takrade. Oh, okay, Papa. And I saw a woman holding a photo. And it is you I see in this photo. And incantations are being made to keep you permanently on the spot, stagnant. But this is the counsel that in less than 24 hours you will hear a message. And Have you had breakfast? No, sir. You've not? No. Please. Okay. Come put your two hands here. You've not... Wait. Wait. You've not had anything? No, daddy. You've not had anything? No, please. Step back. Are you sure? Step back. not had what you call breakfast step back i want to pray with you because of something i saw but it's better fasting it's better fasting can you stay to the next session like that yes sir can you yes sir. without taking anything sure okay stay like that please this is not a pattern it's a it's a prompting promptings come once in a while but they are not regular patterns So don't tell people that they must not eat before, before you propose on them. They just, they just a leading for this matter. Wherever you are, this meeting will not end without the shame and mockery you have been through in life coming to an end. Somebody is running and hiding because of an. He just said that to me now. He says somebody is running and hiding because of an accusation, and you are you are hiding because there's an accusation on you, and you are hiding. You are innocent of this accusation, but people seem to believe it, and you are living in tears and in pain. He said to tell you that in less than 24 hours, the truth will come out and you'll be vindicated. The truth will come out, you'll be vindicated. Lift your hands, lift your hands. The lady come. Where is Dr. K? Please lay hands on this woman. You will bounce back. You will bounce back. You will bounce back. On the other one, the other lady too. You will bounce back. You will bounce back. You will bounce back. Hey, dry bones shall rise again. Is that hand lifted up? Is that hand lifted? Father, nobody, nobody in this place, whether limited or restricted by altars and family backgrounds. Atapota, 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 Everyone under the sound of my voice. That chain, that hold that has quarantined you and boxed you, that you can't move in life and destiny, it is broken in the name of Jesus. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Enter your rest. Enter your rest. 
Help them, help them please. Enter your rest. Help them in the crowd. Enter your rest. Enter your rest. Kapatarasha. In the name of Jesus. I know there are sick people here. But I'll focus on that tonight. I am not comfortable with you being under the sun for a long time. So I'll focus on that tonight. But I want you to know something. Nobody. For those who are not around. Tell them. Something is, is happening in town. Something strange is happening. And. Um, if you are not here on time tonight. You may not get a seat. But what God will do tonight. Is going to be. A signature. For the rest of your life. Now, as your hands are lifted, you will cry this after me. When I say fire prayer, you begin to pray. Say, Lord, make me. Lord, oh. make me. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Lord, 